Hi folks, Debbie Ray here, the gardener wife, with a review and an update on early spring sowing here in my kitchen garden. Now, as you may recall, around mid-March, I had a few minutes and came out here to do uh, what I call just a preliminary round. I sprinkled lettuce seeds down here by the raspberries and in my herb bed among the garlic. Not a lot of these came up. This was the older variety, uh, uh, older seeds that were in that package. But uh, still, I'm gonna have more lettuce here than I would have if I hadn't sown those. Then I sprinkled uh, different lettuce seeds here in this wash tub and in a couple smaller containers. Now what you're looking at here is after I have uh, thinned the lettuce and spread it out, and I'm still continuing to uh, pull up morning glory seeds that are popping up on their own in here, but I've already, uh, um, like I said, thinned them and, and spread them out. I'll show you the other containers next. So originally I had just planted lettuce seeds just in these two containers and had them sitting on my driveway. And they grew up kind of thickly, so about a week ago I thinned them out and I spread all the lettuce seeds from these two containers um, over to that wash tub I just showed you, plus three more smaller containers. I also added little pansy seedlings that popped up in my lawn of all places. I don't know why, but I'm thankful because the pansies that I tried growing from seed uh, did not work at all. So I've, at least I've got a head start on those edible flowers. And I also added a few little calendula seedlings that were up in my winter sowing jugs. Now, all these containers have sat here for the last week. They were covered with snow Saturday, and then that melted Sunday afternoon, and now we've been getting a lot of rain. Back here are the two beds that I planted in my first official round of early spring sowing. So uh, I planted snow peas, and this was oh, around April 20th, I think. And by, uh, no, around, I wanna say April 16th. And then a week later, they were just popping up. And I have this, these shade tunnels are protecting my little snow pea seedlings from birds because they've taken to eating the, the leaves of the soft green shoots of my peas and beans. So I'm gonna protect them with these shade tunnels until they're six or eight inches high and then train them over to the supports that are waiting here next to them. A few of the other things I planted in that first round are also coming up. Radishes. I did lines of radishes and carrots to uh, separate some of the other things I grew. Uh, the things that are coming up here are different kinds of kale, I believe. And then over here, is where I planted baby choy seeds and they're coming up in this section. I planted more at the back of this bed that's a shadier spot so they're not up, not doing as well there. But I think they'll still come. So this was the uh, first round of spring planting. I got two beds done. And later, when I'm ready uh, for the tender annuals, when the weather and the soil has warmed up, uh, these beds will get green beans. Four towers of beans here, and Mrs. Green Beans here, probably some zinnias and fun stuff around her. But that's when it's time for the late spring planting. And finally, this is the bed that I did in my second round of early spring planting, I actually got the labels up for this one. And uh, so in this bed, I planted different kinds of beets 
interspersed uh, four kinds of beets, I think here. I interspersed with two kinds of spinach, and I don't think the spinach will last long or do well. It usually doesn't for me. Very short season. Uh, so, but the beets will be here. And then on the outside, I did two lines of colorful Swiss chard. And then you can see that I made lines again to show just where one crop ended and another, another variety began. And I made these lines by uh, planting little tiny seedlings of leeks. And then down here, I stuck a few sets for shells. So that was my second round of early spring planting. I would like to still do a third round over here. Um, and there's more to do here uh, back in this other bed. This is going to be the broccoli bed. So I, I have broccoli seedlings that I would like to plant in here. And then more things to sow in this fourth bed. But uh, I have to wait until the ground can be worked again. With all this rain, I've measured well over two inches of precipitation in the last three days. It's going to be a while before the ground dries up enough uh, to where I can do some serious planting again. And uh, that's when I'll come get those broccoli seedlings planted, transplanted out here. And I will um, put uh, here in this bed uh, for the early sowing. I want to do more lettuce and radishes and carrots and maybe more chard or kale, we'll see. But uh, this is eventually, bed will eventually hold cucumbers. And then those last two beds that I'm not thinking about for several more weeks will eventually get tomatoes and other plants in the Solanaceae family. So after I got most of the spring planting done, I did come out and do a little bit of spring cleanup, so here's my herbs and edibles flowers bed. That's looking nicer and neater than it did before. Uh, strawberry bed, same thing, looking much better. Everything is about as weed free as it gets around here. And the raspberry bed too. So that is the spring planting report as of today. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, don't go yet. I want to show you that I still have uh, other seedlings that came up in some of my winter ju sowing jugs that I would also like to get transplanted out there as soon as possible. I've got some ornamental kale, broccoli rob. I can plant more seeds of that too, so I'll have a succession going several weeks apart of harvesting. And uh, here's the calendula that I talked about and put a few already in the lettuce containers. And then, not for the kitchen garden, but for one of my perennial beds, I've got hollyhocks. And there's a few other things that have started coming up. So, uh, lots of good gardening plans. I can't wait to be able to plant again. Now, thanks for watching. <laughs>